Did you know that Giant Gonzalez, a.k.a. El Gigante, was eight feet tall when he started wrestling professionally? His incredible height made other wrestlers look short. Other tall wrestlers like Paul Bunyan, Andre the Giant, and Silo Sam were all well above seven feet tall as well. When it comes to professional wrestling, height is just as important as weight and strength. Unfortunately, the gift of extraordinary height comes with a few challenges. Let's consider how the height of these giants aided or derailed their wrestling careers. Yokozuna, 6'4". Yokozuna, born Rodney Agatupu Anoa'i, was a Samoan wrestler who left an unforgettable impression in professional wrestling. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches and weighing over 500 pounds, Yokozuna was a force to be reckoned with in the ring. Despite his Samoan heritage, he portrayed a Japanese sumo wrestler, a character that captivated audiences around the globe. Yokozuna's journey to wrestling stardom began in the early 1990s when he joined the World Wrestling Federation WWF. His debut was nothing short of spectacular, as he quickly established himself as a dominant and intimidating presence in the ring. His size alone was enough to strike fear into the hearts of his opponents, but it was his agility and skill that truly set him apart. One of Yokozuna's most memorable feuds was with The Undertaker. Their matches were the stuff of legend, with both men pushing each other to their limits. Yokozuna's incredible size and strength made him a formidable opponent for The Undertaker, who was known for his own imposing presence. Their battles were intense and often brutal, with neither man willing to back down. The highlight of their rivalry came at the 1994 Royal Rumble, where Yokozuna successfully defended his WWF Championship against The Undertaker in a casket match. Matt Morgan, 6'9". Matt Morgan, standing at an imposing 6 feet 9 inches, is known for his intense performances. Known as the Blueprint, Morgan's career is a reflection of his physical strength and unyielding determination. His journey through the industry saw him display his power in both WWE and TNA, and he even ventured into the realm of reality television with an appearance on American Gladiator as Beast. Morgan's wrestling career began in the early 2000s when he signed with WWE. His debut was highly anticipated, and he did not disappoint. With his chisel physique and towering height, Morgan quickly established himself as a dominant force in the ring. His matches were characterized by his raw power and athleticism, which allowed him to execute moves that seemed impossible for someone of his size. One of his most notable early moments in WWE was his participation in the 2003 Tough Enough competition, where he showcased his potential and caught the attention of wrestling fans and executives alike. During his time in WWE, Morgan was often paired with other wrestlers to form formidable tag teams. His partnership with Carlito in 2005 was particularly memorable. The duo's contrasting styles, Carlito's cunning, and Morgan's brute strength made them a formidable team. However, despite his potential, Morgan's WWE career was relatively short-lived. Big John Studd, 6'10". Big John Studd, born John Minton, was a star in professional wrestling, standing at an impressive 6 feet 10 inches. Throughout his career, he often found himself in the shadow of another giant, Andre the Giant. However, Studd's contributions to the sport and his memorable moments in the ring have cemented his legacy as one of wrestling's most iconic big men. Studd's wrestling career began in the early 1970s, and he quickly made a name for himself with his imposing size and strength. His early years saw him wrestling under various names and personas, but it was his time in the World Wide Wrestling Federation, WWF, that truly defined his career. In the late 1970s, Studd adopted the moniker Big John Studd and began to establish himself as a dominant force in the ring. One of Studd's most notable achievements was winning the WWF World Tag Team Championship. He held the title with partner Killer Kowalski, and their reign was marked by their dominance and physicality. Despite his success, Studd's career was often intertwined with that of Andre the Giant. The two giants had a legendary rivalry that captivated wrestling fans around the world. One of their most famous encounters was the Body Slam Challenge at WrestleMania 1, where Studd offered $15,000 to anyone who could slam him. Andre the Giant accepted the challenge and successfully body slammed Studd. The Undertaker, 610. The Undertaker, whose real name is Mark William Calloway, stands as one of the most iconic and enduring figures in the history of professional wrestling. Towering at 6 feet 10 inches, The Undertaker's presence in the ring was nothing short of terrifying, and his dead man gimmick has become legendary. Over a career that spanned three decades, he captivated audiences with his eerie persona, incredible athleticism, and unforgettable matches. The Undertaker made his debut in the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, in 1990 at the Survivor Series. 
Styles. From the moment he stepped into the ring, it was clear that he was unlike any other wrestler. His character, a seemingly undead mortician, was brought to life with meticulous attention to detail. From his slow, methodical walk to the ring to his chilling entrance music and signature moves like the tombstone pile driver and the chokeslim, The Undertaker was a master of psychological warfare. One of the most defining aspects of The Undertaker's career was his WrestleMania streak. Matches against legends like Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Kane are still regarded as some of the greatest in wrestling history. Brock Lesnar finally broke the streak at WrestleMania 30. Kevin Nash, 6 10 inches to 6 and 11. Kevin Nash, standing between 6 feet 10 inches and 6 feet 11 inches, launched an amazing career in professional wrestling. Known by many monikers including Big Daddy Cool Diesel, Nash's career is proof of his versatility, charisma, and physical presence. As a WWE Hall of Famer, Nash has left an unforgettable mark on the wrestling industry with a career that spans multiple promotions, including WCW, TNA, and WWF, now WWE. Nash's wrestling journey began in the early 1990s when he signed with WWF. Initially, he struggled to find a character that resonated with fans, but that changed when he adopted the persona of Diesel. As Diesel, Nash portrayed a cool, confident bodyguard for Shawn Michaels. His imposing height and muscular build made him an intimidating presence, and his signature move, the standing power bomb, became a devastating finisher that left opponents reeling. Diesel's rise to prominence in WWF was meteoric. He quickly captured the Intercontinental Championship and the Tag Team Championship, showcasing his versatility as both a singles and tag team competitor. In 1994, Diesel achieved one of his most significant career. Kurgan, 6 feet 11. Kurgan's journey in WWE began with the Truth Commission, a faction characterized by its military-themed gimmick. Led by the Commandant and later by the Jackal, the Truth Commission aimed to impose order and discipline in the chaotic world of professional wrestling. Kurgan, with his immense size and intimidating demeanor, was the enforcer of the group. His role was to dominate opponents with his incredible power and strength, often using his signature move, the Claw Hold, to incapacitate his adversaries. Despite the faction's unique concept, the Truth Commission struggled to gain significant traction in WWE, and Kurgan's potential as a dominant force was not fully realized. In 1998, Kurgan transitioned to a new faction, the Oddities. This group was a stark contrast to the Truth Commission, embracing a more eccentric and bizarre persona. The Oddities were a collection of misfits and outcasts. After leaving WWE in 1999, Robert Mele transitioned to a new career in acting. His imposing stature and unique look made him a natural fit for roles that required a larger-than-life presence. Maillet's acting career took off, and he appeared in several high-profile films and television shows. One of his most notable roles was as the giant uber-immortal in the epic film 300, where he battled against the Spartan warriors. His performance in 300 Inches showcased his physicality and screen presence, earning him recognition in the film industry. Nathan Jones, 6'11". Nathan Jones, hailing from Australia, is a wrestler who became a notable figure in the industry due to his impressive physique and towering height. Standing at 6 feet 11 inches, Jones's journey in WWE was brief but memorable, and he later transitioned to a successful career in Hollywood. Before entering the wrestling world, he had a challenging past that included a stint in prison. However, he turned his life around and channeled his energy into bodybuilding and strongman competitions. In 2002, Nathan Jones made his debut in WWE and his arrival was met with significant fanfare. His character was introduced as a former convict who had found redemption through wrestling. WWE capitalized on Jones's imposing stature and intimidating presence, positioning him as a force to be reckoned with in the ring. His association with The Undertaker, one of the most iconic figures in wrestling history, further elevated his status. Jones was brought in as The Undertaker's protege and wingman. The storyline saw The Undertaker taking Jones under his wing, mentoring him, and preparing him for the rigors of WWE competition. This partnership culminated in a high-profile match at WrestleMania 19, where Jones and The Undertaker were set to team up against A-Train and Big Show. However, in a surprising turn of events, Jones was attacked backstage before the match, and The Undertaker ended up facing their opponents alone. Despite this setback, Jones made a dramatic entrance during the match, helping The Undertaker secure the victory. Kane, 7 feet. 
Kane, whose real name is Glenn Thomas Jacobs, is a professional wrestler and American politician who made a name for himself in the wrestling industry. Standing at an imposing seven feet tall, Kane's horror-themed persona and his association with The Undertaker as the Brothers of Destruction have made him one of the most iconic figures in WWE history. Over his illustrious career, Kane has won several major championships, proving that he is much more than just a scary gimmick. Kane made his debut during Undertaker's fight, that evoked images of horror and destruction. Throughout his career, Kane has won numerous championships, including the WWE Championship, World Heavyweight Championship, Intercontinental Championship, and multiple tag team championships. His versatility as both a singles and tag team competitor has allowed him to achieve success in various roles. One of Kane's most significant achievements came in 2010, when he won the Money in the Bank ladder match and successfully cashed in his contract to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Shanky, seven feet. Shanky, whose real name is Gurvinder Singh Malhotra, is an Indian wrestler who stands at an impressive seven feet tall. Despite his imposing height and physical presence, Shanky's journey in WWE has been marked by a mix of potential and comedic relief, rather than dominant performances in the ring. His story is one of untapped potential and the challenges of finding the right niche in professional wrestling. Shanky's wrestling career began in his home country of India, where he trained under the guidance of the great Kali, another towering figure in the industry. Shanky's impressive size and athleticism quickly caught the attention of wrestling promoters, and he made his way to WWE, where he hoped to follow in the footsteps of his mentor. His debut in WWE was met with anticipation, as fans were eager to see how this giant from India would fare in the highly competitive environment of WWE. Shanky's WWE debut came in 2021, when he appeared on the main roster as part of a storyline involving Jinder Mahal and Veer. The trio formed a faction that aimed to dominate the WWE landscape, with Shanky's size and strength serving as a key asset. However, despite his physical advantages, Shanky's in-ring performances have often been overshadowed by his role in comedic segments and storylines. For example, Shanky has been involved in dance segments and light-hearted backstage skits that play up his towering presence for laughs. The Big Show, Seven Feet. The Big Show, whose real name is Paul White, is one of the most well-known and iconic tall wrestlers in the history of professional wrestling. Standing at an imposing seven feet tall and weighing over 400 pounds, The Big Show has earned the moniker, the world's largest athlete. His career, which spans over two decades, is marked by numerous championships, unforgettable matches, and a legacy that continues to inspire awe and admiration. The Big Show's journey in professional wrestling began in the mid-1990s when he signed with World Championship Wrestling, WCW. Initially known as the Giant, he made an immediate impact by winning the WCW World Heavyweight Championship in his debut match against Hulk Hogan at Halloween Havoc in 1995. This victory showcased his incredible potential and set the stage for a highly successful career. In 1999, The Big Show made the jump to the World Wrestling Federation, WWF now WWE, where he continued to build on his impressive resume. His debut in WWE was marked by a dramatic entrance during the St. Valentine's Day Massacre pay-per-view, where he emerged from under the ring to assist Vince McMahon in his match against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Throughout his WWE career, The Big Show captured multiple championships, including the WWE Championship, World Heavyweight Championship, Intercontinental Championship, United States Championship, and several tag team championships. Big Cass, seven feet. Big Cass, whose real name is William Morrissey, is a name that resonates with WWE fans. His journey into the world of professional wrestling began through the WWE's NXT system, a developmental territory designed to groom future superstars. From the moment he stepped into the ring, it was clear that Big Cass was destined for greatness. His seven-foot frame immediately set him apart from his peers. His height was not just a physical attribute, it was a spectacle that drew the attention of fans and officials alike. One of the most remarkable aspects of Big Cass's career is how quickly he rose to prominence. Just five months after his debut, he was already fighting for the Universal title. For many wrestlers, it takes years to reach the level of competition that Big Cass achieved in mere months. Big Cass's early career was marked by his partnership with Enzo Amore. The duo quickly became fan favorites, known for their charismatic promos and undeniable chemistry. Their catchphrases and energetic entrances made them a highlight of WWE programming. Together, they took on some of the biggest names in the business, and their matches were always highly anticipated. Cass's feuds with top-tier talent demonstrated his versatility and capability as a singles competitor. Brian Norton, 7 feet. 
Next on our list is Brian Norton, a seven-foot giant from Ireland who was known by the ominous nickname the Northern Irish Nightmare. Despite his towering height, Norton's career in the WWE was far from the success story one might expect. His seven-foot frame made him an imposing figure in the ring. His height alone was enough to strike fear into the hearts of his opponents and captivate the audience. Norton entered the wrestling scene with high hopes and the potential to become a major star. His nickname, the Northern Irish Nightmare, suggested a fearsome competitor who could dominate the ring. Yet despite his impressive stature, Norton struggled to make a significant impact. WWE officials, who are always on the lookout for the next big thing, saw little potential in him. This lack of faith from the higher-ups in the organization played a significant role in the trajectory of his career. One of the key challenges Norton faced was the ability to connect with the audience. In professional wrestling, charisma and the ability to engage with fans are just as important as physical prowess. Unfortunately, Norton struggled in this area. His in-ring performances, while solid, lacked the spark needed to captivate the WWE universe. Without the crowd's support, it became increasingly difficult for him to climb the ranks. Jackson Andrews, 7 feet 1 Known for his colossal frame, Jackson Andrews made his mark in the wrestling world during his time in Florida Championship Wrestling, FCW, from 2009 to 2011. Despite his impressive height, Andrews's career was marred by challenges both inside and outside the ring. His seven-foot-one frame made him an intimidating presence, and his sheer size often left audiences in awe. However, Andrews' height, which should have been his greatest asset, also proved to be a significant hindrance. His rigidity and lack of agility in the ring were evident, and these limitations affected his performance. During his time in FCW, Andrews struggled to find his footing. While his height made him a natural fit for the role of a dominant giant, his in-ring abilities did not match the expectations set by his stature. Wrestling requires a combination of strength, agility, and charisma, and Andrews' rigidity often made his matches less dynamic. His movements were slow and deliberate, lacking the fluidity and versatility seen in other wrestlers of his size. Unfortunately, Jackson Andrews is perhaps better known for the controversy surrounding his personal life than for his wrestling career. In 2012, allegations of domestic violence involving WWE diva Rosa Mendez surfaced, casting a shadow over his already struggling career. These allegations brought significant negative attention and further hindered any chances of a resurgence in wrestling. The Great Kali, 7-1. Moving on to our next giant, we have the great Kali, known for his size and dominance in the industry. Standing at an imposing seven feet, one inch tall, the great Kali, whose real name is Dalip Singh Rana, is not only one of the tallest, but also one of the heaviest wrestlers ever to grace the WWE ring. His massive size and deliberate movements made him a spectacle that fans could not take their eyes off. The great Kali's journey to WWE stardom is as remarkable as his size. Born in a small village in India, Dalip Singh Rana's path to wrestling was anything but conventional. Before stepping into the wrestling ring, he worked as a police officer in the Punjab State Police. His extraordinary height and physique caught the attention of wrestling promoters, and soon he found himself training to become a professional wrestler. Kali made his WWE debut in 2006, and from the moment he stepped into the ring, he was an instant sensation. His debut was nothing short of spectacular. He interrupted a match between The Undertaker and Mark Henry, attacking The Undertaker and leaving him incapacitated. This dramatic entrance set the tone for Kali's career, establishing him as a force to be reckoned with. Giant Silva, 7-2. Paulo Cesar da Silva, known in the wrestling world as Giant Silva, was not only a professional wrestler, but also a mixed martial artist. His massive size and unique background made him a fascinating figure in sports entertainment. Giant Silva's journey into professional wrestling began after a successful career in basketball. His height and athleticism made him a natural fit for the sport, and he quickly transitioned into wrestling. Silva's entry into the WWE saw him become a part of the infamous Oddities team, a group known for its eccentric and larger-than-life characters. The oddities were a perfect fit for Silva, whose towering presence added to the team's unique appeal. Unfortunately, Giant Silva's career in the WWE was relatively short-lived. He mostly featured in mid and lower card matches, never quite breaking into the main event scene. His matches, while entertaining, often lacked the technical prowess and storytelling that are hallmarks of top-tier wrestling bouts. Despite his limited success in the WWE, Giant Silva's career extended beyond the wrestling ring. He ventured into mixed martial arts, where his size and strength made him a formidable opponent. Silva Silva competed in several high-profile MMA promotions, including Pride Fighting Championships. While his MMA career was also relatively short, it showcased his versatility as an athlete and his willingness to take on new challenges. Omos, 7-3. 
Omos, whose real name is Talalope Jordan Omagbahin, has quickly become a force to be reckoned with in the wrestling world. Since his debut in 2020, Omos has already made a significant impact, feuding with some of the biggest names in the E business and earning high praise from wrestling legends. His journey to WWE stardom is as impressive as his height. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, he moved to the United States to pursue his education and athletic career. Before stepping into the wrestling ring, Omos played college basketball, where his height and athleticism made him a standout player. His transition to professional wrestling was a natural progression, and his physical attributes made him an instant sensation. From the moment he stepped into the ring, it was clear that he was destined for greatness. His debut was marked by his alliance with AJ Styles, one of WWE's most accomplished superstars. This partnership allowed Omos to showcase his strengths while learning from one of the best in the business. Together, they formed a formidable tag team, capturing the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship and dominating the tag team division. One of the most remarkable aspects of Omos's career is the high praise he has received from wrestling legends. The Undertaker has claimed that Omos is the closest WWE has come to finding the next Andre the Giant. Silo Sam, seven or three inches, seven or four. Our next giant on the list is CeeLo Sam, a wrestler whose height was often the subject of exaggeration and myth. While some listings put him at an astounding 7 feet 8 inches, CeeLo Sam, whose real name was John Harris, stood at an impressive 7 feet 3 inches to 7 feet 4 inches. Despite his towering stature, CeeLo Sam's career in professional wrestling was relatively unmemorable, marked by brief stints in various promotions and a fleeting presence in the WWF. CeeLo Sam's journey in the industry began in the 1980s. His incredible height made him a natural fit for the sport, and he quickly caught the attention of promoters looking for new characters. Sam's early career saw him wrestling for the Von Erichs World Class Championship Wrestling WCCW, a promotion known for its colorful personalities and intense rivalries. Despite his imposing presence, Silo Sam's in-ring abilities left much to be desired. His matches were often slow and lacked the technical finesse that fans enjoyed. One of the most notable aspects of Silo Sam's career was his brief time in the WWF, where he wrestled under the name Trapper John. His stint in the WWF was short-lived, and he failed to make a significant impact. Despite his towering height, Sam struggled to find a character or storyline that resonated with fans. His matches in the WWF were few and far between, and he soon found himself relegated to the lower card. Andre the Giant, 7'4". Standing at an awe-inspiring 7 feet 4 inches tall, Andre the Giant, born Andre René Rusimov, was not just a wrestler, he was an icon. His incredible size, combined with his charisma and in-ring prowess, made him one of the most beloved and unforgettable stars in the sport. Andre the Giant's story begins in the small village of Molien, France, where he was born in 1946. From a young age, it was clear that Andre was different. By the time he was 12 years old, he already stood over 6 feet tall. His extraordinary growth was due to acrobatics megaly, a condition caused by an excess of growth hormone. Despite the challenges that came with his size, Andre embraced his uniqueness and pursued a career in professional wrestling. Andre's wrestling career took off in the 1960s, and he quickly became a global sensation. His size made him an attraction wherever he went, and promoters around the world clamored to book him for their events. One of the most iconic moments in Andre the Giant's career was his legendary feud with Hulk Hogan. Their rivalry culminated in a historic match at WrestleMania 3 in 19 where Hogan famously body slammed the 7 foot 4, 500 pound giant. Paul Bunyan, 7 7. As we near the end of our countdown, we come to Paul Bunyan, a wrestler whose height has been the subject of much speculation and myth. Standing at an incredible 7 feet 7 inches tall, and sometimes listed as tall as 8 feet 6 inches, Paul Bunyan's story is as unique as his stature. His journey from actor to wrestler to preacher is a fascinating tale that sets him apart from his peers. Paul Bunyan, whose real name was Paul White, began his career in the entertainment industry as an actor. His extraordinary height made him a natural fit for roles that required a large presence. Bunyan's acting career provided him with a platform to showcase his unique look and charisma, but it was his transition to professional wrestling that truly brought him into the spotlight. Bunyan's entry into the wrestling industry was marked by his incredible height and imposing presence. Standing at 7 feet 7 inches, he was one of the tallest men ever to step into the ring. After a short stint in the wrestling ring, Paul Bunyan made a dramatic career shift. He became a preacher, adopting the moniker, Goliath for Christ. As Goliath for Christ, Bunyan used his platform to spread messages of of faith and inspiration, reaching audiences far beyond the wrestling ring. Giant Gonzalez, eight feet. 
Standing at an astonishing eight feet tall, Giant Gonzalez, also known as El Gigante, is the tallest wrestler to ever step into the ring. Born Jorge Gonzalez in Argentina, his journey from basketball courts to wrestling rings is a story of towering ambition and unforgettable moments. Before entering the world of professional wrestling, Jorge Gonzalez was a promising basketball player. His extraordinary height made him a natural fit for the sport, and he played for the Argentine national team. His basketball career eventually led him to the United States, where he was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks in the 1988 NBA draft. However, his basketball career was cut short due to health issues related to his immense size, prompting him to seek a new path. Gonzalez's transition to professional wrestling began when he was discovered by wrestling promoter Jim Hurd. Recognizing the potential of Gonzalez's incredible height, Hurd brought him into World Championship Wrestling, WCW, under the ring name El Gigante. Gonzalez's debut in WCW was nothing short of spectacular. In 1993, Gonzalez made his debut in the WWE, where he was rebranded as Giant Gonzalez. His arrival in WWE was marked by a dramatic entrance at the Royal Rumble, where he attacked The Undertaker, setting the stage for a memorable feud. Thanks for watching. Check out other videos by clicking the cards on your screen.